Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner. Welcome back to another gameplay video. But first, before we get into the gameplay, down in the description below, there is a link to an Airsoft channel that I want all of you to go check out. This link is for GW Airsoft. He is a young airsofter that supports me and really wants to get out on the field and do his own videos. And so I decided that I would love to return the favor and support him as well. I'm already subscribed to his channel and I want all of you to do the same. He is just starting out and learning how to craft airsoft videos and put them together in his own way. So do me a favor and do him a favor and go give him your support. Today we are playing at Go Airheads Airsoft Field in Erie, Colorado. The game type is called 13 Hours. It is a multifaceted mission-based game that I fell in love with. This was so good. To start off the game, you have two teams. You have the Assassins, and then you have the Ambassador's Protectors. Now, the Ambassador is actually located in a building way far away from our securement point. He has five bodyguards. Our goal was to send one of the protectors in, tag the ambassador, and at that point, the ambassador and the bodyguards could leave the building they were held up in and get back to the securement point. Once he got back to the embassy or the securement point, we then had to defend the ambassador for 10 minutes to wait for the helo to come and extract him. This game was a blast. There were BBs going everywhere. I actually wasn't sure if the people that I was shooting at, I was hitting, or if it was just members of the protectors shooting at the assassins. I didn't know. So that there's a lot of people that were throwing hands up and I decided, yeah, I'm not gonna take credit for those. I hope you enjoy this action-packed gameplay because Lord knows I did. So without any further ado, Welcome to 13 Hours. <laughs> right here at the start of the game, our team decided to split into three different groups. One to hold down the fort at the embassy. My group was to go up to the green wall and defend from that position, while the third group was to push up past the green wall and do their best to protect the runner going into the Alamo or the two-story building to get the ambassador. Where are they at? I can't see them. Behind the trailer. Thank you! Okay, retreat! We have the ambassador! All rescue team, retreat! Now that we have the ambassador, all rescuers and the ambassador have to be inside the embassy in order for the 10 minute time clock to start. Where's the VIP? Okay, in there, now! Do we have alleyway coverage? Okay, they're coming up at the RV. Reloading. Who wants a bull? A what? A bull. Oh my god, no, no. You get melee weapons. This is the point where I started to realize how absolutely chaotic this game could get. The assassins are now breaking their way past the green wall into our territory. They are now laying down fire suppression on multiple sides of us. And on top of that, 
keeping us pinned down extremely well. That was a gun hit, sir. Hey, are gun hits count? Do gun hits count? No. Okay, just making sure. No, I have. Guys, they are in the RV. In the RV. Hey! Ref, I'm going to respawn. That is my last respawn as a defender. I know we got to be back in here, though. Guys, green wall, can anybody nail that? We are all being pushed back and condensed into a small corner of the embassy, doing our best to defend what little ground we still have. Okay, guys, on the reload. Can we move the ambassador over there to that house? We'll have a more clear shot to the yeah. helicopter. Okay. The ambassador's got to be in here, though. The ambassador. Keep in mind. At this point, I'm just trying to lay down as much cover fire as I can to keep the assassins from pushing even more forward than they already have. Hit! Ref! I'm out! I'm switching sides! As per the game rules, once you're out of respawns for the defenders, you switch over to the assassin team. I know where he is and he should... Anybody got a grenade? We we're trying. I know where they're fortified, but I'm not going to give it up. I just came from their side. Laying down the heavy fire right here to give myself an opening to cross. I run my mag dry and didn't realize it. Why, hello there, my old friend. I wish I could have welcomed you with some BBs as well, but sadly, my mag was out. I'm their team. Yeah, I died. <sighs> Wait, does that guy have a sword? A dead man. <laughs> the guy at the end had a sword. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I saw that at the end of the game. They're like, <laughs> one minute left, everybody push. And that guy just pulls that sword. Ah! It was amazing. I loved it. I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay video. And I would really love it if you would support the channel by subscribing and liking the video and sharing it with all of your airsoft battle buds. This game was so hard fought, and no, I did not stay on the protectors the entire game because I did lose my only respawn for the protectors. But I went over to the assassins, and I got to see it from their side, and I always love a gameplay where I can see the game from both sides, from both perspectives. So comment down below and tell me your favorite game that you've played at your local field, and give me the rules and... Uh, you know, go into some detail. Tell me some of your favorite parts. Because like I said, I think this is my favorite game that Go Airheads has to offer for me. I look forward to seeing you all next time.
I think I said forward a little wrong there, didn't I? Let's try that one more time. I look forward to seeing you all next time right here on Runner, Runner, Airsaw.